what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel i am back with cameraman nick because if you didn't see we did a challenge of who could buy the best sneaker for 500 dollars. now my shoe was the amamaniere jordan 3 he had the atmos jordan 3s and uh he kind of blew me out of the water let's pull up the uh the vote right now y'all were killing it on the voting i really appreciate y'all's support thank you i forget the name here we go who won the 500 dollars sneaker challenge harrison or cameraman nick we're gonna go to the vote and the vote says what are the results 62.65 percent for cameraman nick so Nick won the first challenge. We wanna do a different challenge. We're gonna take these shoes and see who can trade for the better sneaker. So we're gonna be going to a store and seeing who can trade up essentially for the best shoe. So I have my Alamanier Jordan 3. These went up a little bit. They're about $653 on StockX. And those have, you know, the pricing we'll put it up on screen from last time. So are you ready, Nick? I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna get to go to the store I was trying to go to in the last video. So yep. I'm pretty excited. I've already got like, a shoe maybe two in mind i've been checking their instagram so we're gonna see what's gonna happen yeah so i'm going well he's gonna be going to full circle atl that's where he wanted to go last time and they were closed they're open this time so he's gonna go there and try to work something out i'm gonna be going probably i think good times atl i'm gonna try something there maybe and okay. see what we can do so uh let's get this challenge going i feel like we should have a wager for this challenge or something like Nick loses, got to cut his hair or something like that. Oh man, I've, I, I've been, uh, I should have, I'm, I, oh my God, I missed an appointment to cut my hair with him the other day yep. and it's like, I, I'm going to shorten it up. He needs to get, maybe if he loses, he has to get a cut. So everybody vote for me, but oh my God. all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to, we're going to go solo this time. I'm going to head to the store first, come back and then give the camera to Nick and he's going to go to his spot. So let's check in here in a little bit. Let's go. guys so i'm headed to good times atl right now with my trade for the amam and yara jordan threes now even over the last week the market has gone up on them and this specific size pair is going for 653 dollars before fees so that's about 700 dollars. they probably have that at like 720 at a store so hopefully we can get some good trade credit i know nick's gonna have a fun time going to the shop that he really wanted to go to this whole time so i'm gonna head there right now and hope for the best I'm hoping we can get around $700 worth of value. That is the goal today. Let's go ahead and head into the shop. All right, guys, we got over to Good Times, and I kind of briefly told Danny. Danny came back to the channel. He actually came by the warehouse the other day and picked up a new pair of shoes. Sir, picked those out. Dunk highs. He says he's been looking at those for a while. I've been having those for a long time, but I just never wear them because my feet are too wide. But I told him basically what we're doing. We did the $500 challenge video and we have my pair that I got. And I want to kind of see if you guys can put a value on them and maybe do some store credit and just trade for the best thing that I possibly could. So um, I'm on year Jordan 3s, size women's eight and a half, I believe. So they're brand new, dead stock. And uh, that, these went up this past week. I don't know if you've seen on stock or yeah, stock X, they went up a little bit. What are they so, at now? So I think that pair specifically is like 653 before fees, which and like a size 11 is like, I think size 11 is like 800 now. Yeah, I've seen men's sizes like going for crazy. But whatever you think like value wise, we can kind of look around and see, um, let's see what we can do. Yeah. Uh, we'll let you know. All right, guys. So we got our store credit number. We're going to walk around right now, see what we can find and see if something is in that range and see if we can beat Nick with his trade. found a pair that we're gonna try to maybe work on that I think Nick would absolutely be super jealous of and I think it would beat him, so let's see. We're gonna try to decide between two because there's two of the same shoes. One is a bigger size replacement box. There's a smaller one with the actual box, but the values kind of balance up. And I'm trying to think about what you guys would pick and I'm trying to think, I think the bigger size because it's worth more value inherently than I think that's the route to go. Perfect, let's go. 
This is a replacement box. So whatever's in there is not the shoe. All right, guys, I just finished up and I do not think Nick is ready for this pair. I didn't show you guys what it is, but I kind of found it the second I walked in there. And uh, I think he's gonna even want the pair. So that's, I don't know if I can say much more, but I think I finally got him. I hope I got him. Let's cut to Nick and see what, uh, what he's doing. All right, guys, I just got back to the warehouse. Nick, I'm back, Nick's chilling over here. I got my shoe, don't look at the bag. Well, yeah, the, I know it's from good times, but I can't see. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna put the bag, I need to hide this, but uh, it's now Nick time to go, so I think you need to really do, like you gotta work on this one. I really like this one, and you're really gonna like this one, so I think you gotta work on this. I mean, I have something pretty crazy in mind. I'm gonna try to talk to my boys at Full Circle. If they can hook me up, bro, we're gonna have a crazy challenge on our hands. All right, well, let's see what happens. Now it's Nick's turn. He's gonna take the camera, go down there by himself, and see what he can do. So he'll be checking in, and then uh, we'll be coming back here to show you guys that your boy's gonna take the W this time. I feel, I can feel it. I just, I really like my options, so. You know, next time you'll see me as full circle, I'm about to pull something out, I hope. Right, guys so we just pulled up out here at full circle we're here at the store checking it out we got the uh, atmos threes trying to trade so let's see what they think about them very 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 clean pair it's like a simple pair but good at the same time you know it's like these colors i think go well together this like black with the the yellow and then this like slight green or gray i guess it's more of a gray yeah i saw you had a pair of safaris over there and the colorway yeah. is like super similar it's i feel like atmos always kind of sticks to the same colorway even though it's like always a little bit different you know even with yeah. the safaris and everything it's always kind of like goes with the same like same pattern style or aesthetic like that like that with the yellow I feel like compliments so well. So I've already looked around the store a little bit and I've, I've seen a couple options and we've been talking a little bit and I think there's one shoe that I wanna do. I don't know if I'm gonna show it to you guys yet, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna look around the store, see what they have, but I think I know what shoe we're gonna trade for. All right, so I'm looking around the store right now. They got some nice selection. They got some Travis fours right there some unions they got a whole bunch of selection in here this is gonna be tough this is gonna be tough i think i have the shoe figured out but i'm looking at the selection now and they have they have so many choices all right i know i've already said it a couple times now now but i've definitely just locked in the shoe that i'm going to trade for and i'm really excited harry i'm coming for you all right we got a couple very similar boxes right here but you guys are gonna have to wait till we get back so if you're cool with that i'm down to i'm down to lock this yeah, trade in definitely even trade bro sure. let's go got it awesome. heck yeah all right guys we got the trade secure going in the trunk all we got to do head back to the warehouse and see what happens. I don't know, but you guys are gonna vote and see who wins, but I think this is gonna be crazy. I think this is gonna be one of our craziest shoe to shoe challenges yet. All right guys, we made it back with our shoes. I, did you, sh I didn't show them what I actually got, so I might have to cut out and oh, edit. You know what's funny is I didn't either. Okay, I made perfect. sure not to show them perfect. what I got either. All right, so Nick came back all excited and he's super like hyped to, to do this. So he's like been hovering me around waiting till we film. He's like, are you ready to see what I got? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So is Nick ready to cut his hair? Is that what's happening today? I don't know. We'll all right, see. so. What we're gonna do, since last time, did I go first or you go? Oh, I you went, went first. I went first so you want time. me to go first this I time. want you to go first this time. All right, so I'm happy with what I got from what I had, but I, we'll have to see how it measures up. Cause like, I feel like you could have gotten something good cause they'll, they take care of us over there. Yeah. So first things first, let me take off. Something that affects the value of this box or the shoe is the box. Uh, it is a replacement box. Now I had the option of getting a normal box in a different size, but it was worth less. Okay. This kind of balanced it out and I thought, because it was like a woman's size rather than being like a men's size, this is a, men, this is a nine. So, so. I, I had an issue too, because I didn't even realize that the shoes that I was trading weren't OG box. We had to figure that out. Yeah, so that's what, I, when I was looking for the box for it, I was like, wait, this is not an OG box. And then I was like, okay, that's good for me because this I know. Is, I, I, yeah, so, all right. Nike SB box, but it is an SB. I'm, I'm bet there's going to be an actual SB dunk in there. So. All right, any guesses? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think in the price range. Like that's so tough. What was the what was the price range? Kind of like it was five hundred dollars. I got them for, but they're going for like six fifty ish. I don't know. Maybe like what the Pauls? You ready for it? Three, two, one. 
Oh, yellow yeah, bears. That's Let's go. crazy. We got replacement box yellow bears wow. in a size nine. They are, are used. used. They're okay, used. Okay. So that made it more possible. But wow. Uh, yeah, that I thought that this was. So they've had these for a while there. You've, you've seen these there at, at, at full circle. They're dirty. Yeah, we've looked at them. But, this uh, is hands down one of my favorite shoes on the planet. Top three all day. That's what I told him is that this is a shoe that like, he loves. I didn't say he has it because I don't want to give it away, but this is a shoe that he would want is what I said. But I thought this was really solid. They're pretty dirty, need to be cleaned up. But uh, I thought for, from going for 500, you cannot go buy these for 500. And I'll pull up while we're That's here. Let me pull up the, uh, the pricing with uh, what these I mean, are I'll brand say new. right now, I have a DS size 11. I paid 900 for them and that was a really good deal, so. Yeah, and so brand new size nine, 875, last sale 760. So if we, if we you know, calculate, let's say, we'll have to figure out what's fair because we have to look at how accurate the yeah. last sales are, but you know, that's where we're at. So rep box obviously and use changed that a little bit, but let's let's go ahead and see. Or you think this is a good trade-up? I think that's a great trade-up. Okay. For Do you me, think you can keep up with it? I think I can keep up with okay, it. Okay, good, I good, definitely I'm keeping up with it. Okay, cool, let's go. All right, let's so see. here we go. A Jordan we have a, another four. another Jordan box. Size 11. And size 11. Oh my God, I just saw a color in there. This might be a little hint right here. I saw a color in there. Look at what I got right here. That doesn't make sense, come on. I was able to trade them those Atmos Jordan 3s for a used and not even that crazy used pair of Travis Scott Jordan 4s. I saw them post these on their Instagram and I was like, he better not go in there and be able to get those. Cause they were like, they had them at like 750, I think. No, they had these at like 8, 850. Dude, I had to do some convincing. You guys didn't see a lot of the convincing on camera, but I made this I had to do it too. I can't believe it. So they ended up giving me 580 store credit and these were at 650, but they had them for a while, so it worked out. They were almost, he was almost gonna do 1100 store credit. That's insane. Dude, I, the guys over at Wait, 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 hold on. Let me tell you guys, like we said, Hype 24-7 has the best prices in Atlanta. All day Hype 24-7. If you, you don't go see Con to go get any shoe that you want, you're gonna get the best Price like, shout out to all the other stores, but like, for real, Khan got had those and he has all the shoes at crazy low prices. Like, I just think people don't realize that because of like where he's at in the city, but like, you can get crazy steals there. And look, Nick got a shoe that he was able to get almost 1100 trade credit for 500. Now, if you would have bought that from Khan, it'd probably been like what six, six seven, I would have probably paid about six, six, six fifty. So, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, this is kind of cool that we're like at this point, and like, I feel like there could be something fun where we like change instead of doing this trade series, like we do it with us. Cause like, look where we've gotten with 500 bucks. I know, like, this is crazy. So you guys gotta leave the comments down below what you think. Now, this if mine was really dead stock, good. I think, but like these are used, yours are used too, but oh wait, we need to pull up. I mean, the dead stock price on those is gonna blow mine out of the water. This is, this is crazy. I could not believe that it happened. I gotta shout out the guys at Full Circle. Like they are the boys. So brand new size 11 is $1,009. That's so crazy. And what was mine? Like 875? Something so, like that. Something 125 like that. off. What's, I have a pair myself. Are these an 11? Hey man, 10 and a half, we might be swapping these out for the video so I can have my own yeah, size 11, right. let's go. But all right guys, we'll see. There'll be a poll pinned in the top of the description. Pick who you thought won. And once again, go to Nick's Instagram and tell him to post a photo because oh he still has not done it yet. And if he doesn't I'm post a photo, come... within one week, he has to cut his hair off. How about that? One week, you have to cut your hair off. What's today? What's today? What's today? The video's gonna be posted. I'm gonna be coming with some pictures in 2022. The 21st, if he doesn't have a photo up by the 21st, he has to cut his hair off. All of it, Dude. buzz cut. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Maybe know. just a trim cut, but we cut it off. Uh, Come on, he has a post photo. So, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and how we're kind of going with this now. I think it's really fun, and maybe the next one will be. I don't know where we take it because it's like I like the trading. Yo, it's the fun. sky's the limit. Like this is fun. It's fun for us to go do this instead of just like me going to store. So maybe we'll bring in some third party soon. Our buddy Blake. I don't know if you saw him in the video. He's here, but maybe we can bring him in on some of these. So we'll see what happens. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.